what's up so today's video as you guys can see for the title is going to be how to make a frontal wig but this is kind of how you have um make a wig with four bundles in the frontal because this was a requested video requested about like a month or two ago but i was waiting on this dome head and this stand which i purchased from amazon and y'all this is the best thing i if you don't have this get this like i no longer have to use styrofoam heads but anyways okay so shut up Y'all know I can talk real good. But anyways, I'm using my spandex dome cap from my local beauty supply store. And this is like my favorite cap to use. I do have another favorite, but this is my number one. And the hair we'll be using is from Wiggins Hair. So I am using 613 hair. And the frontal is 13 by 4. And this is their Brazilian straight. So I'm just showing y'all the length. This is in 20 inches. And then the bundles that I do have is Four, which is in 24 inches and yeah and then I'm gonna also be using t-pins so I'm gonna turn the head around and begin pinning the frontal onto the cap but it was very hard to do this like trying to show you on camera on the stand because usually I get my frontals down like with the head between my you know legs or between my knees and then um I'm able to pin it down like that so as you can see I was pinning but I ended up having too much excess at the end and then it was just like going way over so I was like uh-uh I gotta do this off camera so I did do it off camera and I'm gonna show you guys how much of the lace I have left like in the front you're not measuring the lace frontal by you know what is left in the front it's really in the back your frontal should be literally just going from ear to ear straight across it should not be no stretching or pulling or tugging or anything it should just be equal from ear well from side to side so this um it's like a band some like thick material on the lace i'm not sure what it's called y'all but it's like where you sew on you should have the same amount on both sides um equally of it left over so you shouldn't have it tug to the back what i'm saying i'm putting my finger like straight across is because this is where your ear tab is going to be your front should be straight y'all see how i'm going like a i don't know half circle that's like where your ear tab is going to like be cut at so you want your frontal to be pinned just straight across don't be pulling it to the back trying to make sure that ending part is at the end of the cap because when you put your frontal on when you go ahead and try on the way you're going to be seeing that the frontal is going to be behind your ear and then your sideburn is going to be out you ain't going to be able to cover your whole ear to ear because you did not place it correctly so making sure that you place your frontal correctly is like a main key and when i'm going to go sew it i did take off one of the pins and then i stretched it out to make sure it was flat then i started sewing from one side to the other side but definitely make sure that your frontal has the same amount of Ex excess tab on both sides you want it to be equal but that's just me i don't think you should have one over like one on one side like more over than the other side because it's not equal so when you place it on your head y'all know how front nose is made like in a little curvy and you got a curve for your sideburns how they're made i cut my front nose like literally the outline that it comes in so i like my stuff to be even as possible so make sure that your frontal is placed just straight across you should not be tugging the frontal or nothing and once you're done sewing it make sure especially if this is your first time and i've been doing the wigs for so long now but i've run into that issue that's why i'm telling y'all just make sure y'all not pulling it to the back just put it straight across of the um dome head and then try it on once you're finished showing sewing so this is um y'all i'm out of breath hold on let me catch my breath Okay, but this is one of the bundles that I'll be using, and I'm just going to go ahead and unravel it and just unravel, pull it down, unravel so you know it don't get tangled up or nothing like that. So as you can see, after I'm unraveling, I did not take the double wefted part apart. I left them together. So I'm taking my needle, I'm placing it through one of the wefts, then I'm going to place it to the other one. So this is double weft. This is part one of how you stuff in them four bundles. I'm going to go ahead and pull the thread, right? So once you pull it, you get to the knot to the top. Y'all see it. I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to put it through the dome cap. Making sure you're not putting it through the elastic. Put it um, through the fabric of the dome cap. Don't put it through the elastic because that will make the um, cap size, well, like the wig get smaller. So as y'all can see, when I'm making that one loop, I'm holding with my index finger and my thumb right here. Y'all see me with my left hand. I'm holding it so... Do you know the um bundle don't just fall out of place you need to be 
holding it because it's heavy. It is, you know, them double wefted together. So you just need to make sure that you're securing it by holding it while you're pulling the needle. So you need both your hands to do this. And then I did make a knot because knots very help when it comes down to sewing because if you knot it up, it's not going to unravel. So make sure you're doing knots, especially when you're doing a fold over method to making sure that your um tracks is not going to come out. So you're just going to regularly sew and I'm just sewing. People sew all different type of ways. This is the way I sew. I sew under pull out. I guess it's called under pull out. I guess that's how you explain it. But here I get to the end of my own frontal. So y'all seen I started sewing at the literally the edge of the frontal on the other side. And I got to the other side too now. I hope I'm explaining this well y'all. I'm trying to explain it as possible. But if not, y'all just put the volume down and just watch. But yeah, so y'all see I said do or not. And this knot is going to help secure the fold over method to stay intact. And once I do that knot, I'm holding it again. Y'all got to make sure y'all holding it with y'all index and y'all thumb finger because you will see if you don't that you're going to be struggling and you're not going to have no control. You want to have control of the bundle because it's heavy. So you need to make sure everything is, you know, intact and all that. So as you just keep sewing, just so so fold over method. I'm going to go ahead and take the other one, the other bundle. This is the second one, and it's double wefted again. Is it called double wefted or just double together? So I took my needle, and I'm putting it like I did my own. Um, Yeah, I don't even know the terminology to use, but I just made a stitch. Okay, boom. I just made a stitch through the cap so that the um needle and thread is leveled out to the other one. So if I was to just jump into it after I left on the other one, the um the new bundle would have been starting on top of it. No, I wanted to start right next to it. So I had to make that stitch first, then I'll go ahead and take my needle, put it through both of the um wefts, and then start sewing. And now I'm making a loop. So that was loop one, and y'all see it, I'm holding it. Because I promise y'all, y'all try to do this one one hand, that bundle going to do, do, do right on the floor. You're going to have to start right over. So after I do my loop, I'm going to go ahead and make another one. And I think this one, I just looked away, y'all, my bad. I think I just um, made a knot. Yes, I just made a knot to secure it that is holding it in place. And then we're just going to go in an up and down motion, in and out of the cab, and just sew back and forth until we get to bundle number three so in order to stuff four bundles in a frontal what you do is double two of them and then the last two you just use like regular but y'all know that the um longer the length the less of hair that you receive meaning that yes it's thin and the web bundle size is um you know condensed smaller so making sure that you're evenly spreading them out because you will run out of hair if you don't have a correct eye of spreading out um, the spacing of the, like each bundle, each weft, each part, whatever, making sure that they're leveled out because you will run out of hair. I think I just repeated myself. I apologize, you guys. I'm trying to explain as best as I can, but I think y'all understand, you know, sort of what I'm saying. But after the wig is complete and you sew all four bundles, you're going to take your scissors and cut the excess cap. But careful you don't cut your hard work of the threads of the frontal because that wouldn't be, you know, a nice situation. So, boom. There we have it. Our lace custom lace front wig with four bundles in the frontal made at home. Easy. Do it yourself. You know, save you a couple points. <laughs> And yeah, this is basically it. This is how I do it. Um, I do have how to um make a closure wig video. I'll link it down below. Y'all can go watch that. Basically, um, similar, but this is just how you stuff four bundles. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, and I will talk to you guys in the next one.